Hi everyone, it's Deanna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here today. I have a very special video for you guys, um, kind of a two-in-one. I thought I would do a what's in my bag um, and a bag reveal. So I, I have a new bag to show you guys. I just picked it up this weekend from the store in Charlotte and I'm so excited. I absolutely love it. Um, there's a bit of a backstory and everything, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit the little bell notification or the little bell button so you're notified when I upload new videos. And um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and want to see more videos like this. And if you're just excited that I'm back after such a long time away, um, I will be uploading more regularly. So. If you're subscribed, um, you'll definitely be seeing more from me. So please do that if you haven't. It, it means a lot. Um, so let's just get right into it. I purchased this Neverfull in the GM size. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. <laughs> in the GM size uh, in the Damier Abin canvas. So this is my new bag. I've got some little charms on here. I'm just going to kind of set it here um, so that as I'm pulling things out, I don't have to hold on to it because you can see that it is stuffed, just jam-packed full um, because I purchased this bag on Saturday when I was going out of town with my husband. We went into the mountains and I decided to basically get this bag because if you've seen my collection video that I have on my channel, I will link it below and in the cards. Um, I had the Neverfull in the GM size and the monogram canvas and I've had it in the Cerise interior, so that cherry red um, interior. And while I loved the bag and I thought it was beautiful, I was too scared to use it. I was worried about getting water stains on it. I didn't want to mess with the vachetta. Um, I didn't want to ruin the leather. And I was just scared and only pulled it out when I knew that I could be um, in a controlled environment. And I'm just not really in a place where I can justify keeping a bag that I never use or that I'm too scared to use. I just kind of feel like the bags that I have, I want to use them, I want to love them, I want to enjoy them, I spend too much on them to not enjoy them. So I sold that Neverfull and put that money into getting the same bag in the Damier Bin canvas so that it could be worry free and I could um, really use and love this bag. So, um, what I have on it, just a little bit of information, or just, I'll start here. Um, I have the monogram key pouch, and it is the original design. It is not the new model. It's, it's kind of got the squared uh, corners, as you can see. And I purchased this three years ago, I think. Uh, in my, you'll see it in my haul video, uh, my first video that I ever posted, which I will link for you guys. Uh, and I just had a request from someone to do a review and like a wear and tear. So I promise I will get that up this week too. Um, so I will, I will definitely go more in depth into this little baby. But I keep it on the outside of this bag right now. And in it I keep my uh, business cards because I'm a graphic designer, freelance designer. And I own an Etsy shop. So I keep my business cards in there. And then I have a little... A tassel and it has D on it for Deanna and a little poof um, it's the perfect little fall bag I like the little the little accessories the little jinglies um, so yeah let's just jump right in to this crazy full never full full bag um, the first thing is my huge scarf it's it's a big I think it's wool um, black and red and it's just enormous when you wrap yourselves up in it it's like a blanket which is what I love about it um, it sheds everywhere <laughs> oh sorry it sheds everywhere um, but I I just love it I think it's a great it's a great fall scarf um, and now it's finally starting to transition so 
hopefully. I live in North Carolina, so it's always hot. It's pretty much hot, 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 cool, hot, hot, hot. Um, but hopefully it will start to, uh, I totally messed up my hair. <laughs> hopefully it will start to transition um, to fall pretty soon here so that I can use that. But in the mountains it was a little chilly, so I brought it with me there. Um, and so it's still in my bag. I also have the dust bag um, because I just purchased this and I wanted to keep the ba dust bag with it in case, um, I don't know, in case I wanted to fold it up or something, which I obviously didn't, but here it is. And this is the tag. I will pull that up for you guys. You can see. <laughs> they left that I'm like please leave all the stickers and tags and everything with the bag please <laughs> and my lovely essay Ashley and Charlotte um, she was really great and patient with me um, she did that for me so that's great um, if you see me pause to sip I it's early here and I need my coffee so <laughs> excuse me if you hate the sound of coffee but sorry not the sound of coffee but the sound of someone drinking but if I'm going to be talking to you guys and hanging out with you guys, I need my coffee, so excuse me. Next. Oh, okay, you guys. Who remembers this movie? Well, these are two movies, but who remembers this? Uh, this is Disney's <laughs> Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2. Um, I got, this was the best, like, $10 I ever spent. <laughs> I'm a huge Halloween buff. I love Halloween. Not the scary side of Halloween because I'm a wimp, but the fun, you know, spooky, like, I love Halloween. I'm so excited. So, uh, this went in my bag <laughs> because we were going to have some downtime. It was a long drive. And, uh... Chris doesn't care what I watch, so I was like, I need to watch Halloween Town. <laughs> so that's in my bag. <laughs> oh, shocker, another scarf. Um, there's just another scarf in there. It's a really, I like a lighter, lighter weight scarf. Um, let's see. Oh, I went to Sephora, so there might be some things in there. I got my birthday gift. Um, my birthday was in May, but I forgot to pick it up. So when I went in, she was like, you know, you haven't picked up your birthday gift yet. Did you want that? I was like, yeah. So it's the Caudalie uh, birthday gift and um, the Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet and the Vino Perfect Serum. Um, I really love Caudalie. Premier Cru is my favorite mo moisturizer of all time. Um, so whenever, when that was an option, I said, heck yes, and took advantage of that. Oh, um, so I do drink a lot of coffee. Everybody knows this. And, um, my husband is getting into leather work, which is really cool. And I'm super proud of him for, uh, learning a new trade, a new skill. Um, but he made me this little coffee sleeve. It's, he stained the leather himself and put the little, um, rivets I guess on this and this fits around my ball jar um, that I typically drink coffee out of a lot at home and uh, it's really great for here and or anywhere really but in the summertime when your cup starts to sweat you know and it gets slippery um, this my fingers fit right in and it keeps a good grip on it um, so that's my little coffee sleeve that he made he also made this um, I'm a big planner nerd. I'm super organized. I'm very uh, OCD and AD, like I, ha not ADD, but I'm OCD, a little ADD too, but that doesn't matter. Um, it's irrelevant. So I have to plan out everything. I have lists on lists and lists. And uh, so I've learned a lot about this uh, traveler's notebook community and I've gotten involved in that. and got down that rabbit hole um, but I had a few foxy fixes and things like that and Chris was like I could make you one of those that would be a fun project for me so I was like well yeah that would be great so he made me my own traveler's notebook it's leather um, he stained it black for me and stitched it and I put one of my monogram uh, decals on there I have a decal shop on Etsy I'm not trying to like um, promote my stuff but if you if you like it if you're interested I will leave a link to my shop below so you can browse my goodies and, and what I do that sounded wrong but so you can see my shop <laughs> um, but so 
this it has a like a reinforced spine and I've got a little uh, tag that I picked up somewhere in here um, and then I just kind of keep everything all together uh, if you guys are interested in, in seeing you know how I plan things or what I keep in my travelers notebooks or planners please just leave a comment down below and I'm happy to film that if, if you want to see it um, but I don't want to bore you if, if you're not interested I know there are a, a lot of really awesome videos um, in the community about planners and travelers notebooks and all of that but um, that's what's that's what's here a couple more things from Sephora I guess tissue paper <laughs> oh I just picked up so I was thinking of getting a compact because uh, throughout the day I tend to get a little bit of makeup um, rubbing off. I'm not oily and I would say I'm more of a combination to the dry side, definitely dry in the in the fall and uh, winter months. But at, all the time around my nose I'll start to get like makeup coming off throughout the day and I use a CC cream um, for my foundation. And I didn't want to just kind of carry that around with like a beauty blender. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And so I thought I should just get a compact. And I was thinking about getting the Chanel Le Beige. Uh, but I was in Sephora and I heard the one of the people that was there working at the counter. She was talking. She came over to me and we were chatting. And she was like, this is my absolute favorite powder. You need to try it. Um, I told her how I used to work for Bare Minerals. And so we were talking about that for a while. But... Um, she was like, you need to try it. It's, it's my favorite um, compact. It's my favorite powder. So it is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro and I wear light to natural. Um, I'm a little bit darker, but since we're going into the fall winter months, I just decided um, to get to get the one that would match me going forward instead of what's matching me, you know, during the summertime. So it's empty because I've already put it in my cosmetic pouch. Um, but it's there. They also gave me the cutest little pouch. It was like, it's got little lips, it's leather, this is like embroidered on here. Um, I thought this would be awesome for pens. I have a pen in here right now. This is the Pen Gems, part of the coffee, the coffee shop collection, I think. This is the espresso pen, I'm not sure. But it has really beautiful little, uh, crystals here. I don't know if you can if it'll focus on it or not, but um, little crystals and it reminds me of coffee, so I love it. There will be more in here to come, but since, you know, I just got it. Mm. Receipts. This brings me to a point that I wanted to uh, talk about. Also, something about the pouch that comes with the new model, never falls. So if you don't already know, or if you do, um, the Neverfull now for the new model comes with this little pouch. Um, I have it attached to my D-ring in here, if you can see that. Uh, it comes with this strap, this little wrist strap. Um, and I had this with my monogram um, Neverfull as well, but I didn't really use it very much um, because it's a little small for you know, um, everything that I would want to kind of take out with me on a night out, like a lip gloss and a clutch and a small wallet, you know, um, it would bulge out and that bothered me. So I didn't really use it very much. So when I went to repurchase my Neverfull, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, of course, um, about, you know, what's in my bags and how people use the pouch. And I saw a really awesome, uh, idea where somebody was using it for their receipts. So, um, since I do have my own business and I do keep track of my receipts, I thought that would be a great system um, to try and implement myself. So, what I want to kind of try and do with this is keep all of my receipts in here and then uh, at the end of the month kind of take them out and separate them between like, you know, is this for my business? Is this personal? Do I want to throw this away? Do I need to keep this? Am I going to return this? So that way I just kind of have all my receipts in one place and I always know where they are. So I'm going to try that. So we'll, that's a 
that's something I'm going to try to do. But there were some receipts and that's what reminded me. Um, I went to Nordstrom when I was in Charlotte and got the Chanel Rouge Coco Balm, which is awesome. I love that. There's a uh, library checkout slip because I do go to the library all the time. There's an Ingalls gas receipt for ice <laughs> and a Sephora survey. So I'm going to take these. Actually, I'm going to keep the library one out, put it back here, because I need to put that in the book. Um, but these will all go in my pouch, along with my other receipts for Sephora from this weekend. And that will go back in. So we're getting, we're getting, we're getting there. Not quite through. There are napkins, because I don't know about um, you guys, but I definitely keep a lot of napkins in my car um, and I'm always like well just in I'm like one of those just in case people like well I need to have floss just in case and I need to have hand wipes just in case and I need to have napkins just in case and I finally um, felt like vindicated this weekend because everywhere we went when we were on our road trip no one would give us napkins so we'd stop and get something to eat no napkins and I'm like see this is why I keep a glove box full of napkins. Anyway, it's stupid, but of course they're in my bag and not my purse, but, or my car, but they'll make their way there. Um, next is my six ring key holder. Um, I have my key fob in here. My, let's see, my mailbox key and my apartment key. And this is made in France and it's the six key in the Damier bin, Damier bin, I don't really know. I've heard different people say it differently so, um, you know, that's just kind of the way I say it, it's Damier bin. Um, this is how it folds, okay, with a key fob. I have three things in here, three keys, one key fob, one little, one of those key fobs, a big key fob and a key. And when I go to fold it, it's a struggle. It won't, you know, I have to really try and arrange it in a way that, you know, this lays on, on top of this. And, and uh, these have started to peel up. I got this for Valentine's Day from Chris in, let's see, it's 2017. I think I got it in 2015 or 14. I can't remember. Um... I don't know how I feel about it. I have mixed feelings. If you want me to do an in-depth review on this, just leave a comment and I'm happy to do that for you guys. Um, next, hmm. this is my checkbook. Um, I just keep it, I've had it forever. It came in an old coach wallet and I just really like it. So um, I've got my checks on this side and then I keep deposit slips and an erasable pen for writing checks because you never know. Um, if you need to change it, if you make a mistake. So um, this is my checkbook. Keep it in there. And then these two things were together. This was falling off. It's a band to keep it closed. But this is my Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, this one I just got at Staples. I'm way too impatient to be waiting like a month for a planner when I have so many different ones. Um, but yeah, this is, this is my life planner. I was using this for um, lists this week when I was away and meal planning and keeping track of my orders you know um, so that's my life planner okay we're starting to get to the bottom now here we go if you can see I want to kind of show you as I go <laughs> next we have all oh, my my headphones these are my favorite headphones of all time I would repurchase these a million times over. If I ever lost them, I would be devastated. Um, I'm not sure the exact serial number, but I will leave a link below. I will find them for you guys. Um, they're great because they're high quality sound. You can really hear the bass. It's super crystal clear. Um, they do great at noise cancellation for being as light as they are. They have the regular you know, just head, uh, headphone jack there 
adapter I don't know um, so if you have an iPhone you have to get the you'd have to get an adapter for that but um, I just love these they're so lightweight I don't even feel them on there my husband has the wireless beats and he still reaches for for these when he can because the beats will give him a headache over time because they're so heavy um, so those are freaking fantastic um, I have a little pouch from Sephora I have a lot of pouches like brace yourself oh um, this is a giant travel Ziploc basically for when I have my uh, Montane and the monogram because I'm worried about the water spots I keep one of these in here in case I'm caught in the rain um, and I want to cover and protect my bag I need to get one of those little ones from the container store but it bothers me that it doesn't cover the handles because the whole point for me is to cover the handles to prevent water spots from getting on the handles so if you guys have a uh, you know suggestion of a way to cover up your bag uh, like a little bag for your bag that is rain resistant please let me know I'd be happy to to hear I'm sure you guys know better than me um, I always keep a little moleskin uh, notebook with me just if I have uh, to sketch out little ideas or something tissues uh, wet ones are in here and then a Clinique makeup removing wipe, makeup remover wipes. And then I've got a couple of panty liners, hair, <laughs> and a tampon. Um, my favorite tampons are the Tampax Pearl. I like that they're compact. Um, I have no qualms whatsoever. I'm a super open book, so if you're offended by my use of tampon, I apologize, but you need to... Um, probably not watch my videos because <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say these are my little girly items like it's a tampon grow up so next is my um, mark by Marc Jacobs it's like a little um, cosmetic bag or makeup bag what I like about it is that it's clear as you can see but it has this really cute little lace and then there's leather um, detailing at the top um, super cute and really durable and in here I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to kind of pull it out. Um, tissues, more tissues, um, gum, five gum is my favorite. I always have this with me because I can't tell you how many times I've been shopping for something and I'm thinking, oh, that's a great piece, how big is it? And I can't find a measuring tape. This is just a portable measuring tape and it goes three feet, one meter. Um, it's perfect. It's little, it's cute. Whenever I need to measure something um, for a client or something like that, uh, it's just great to always have with me. Mints. Hand sanitizer. This is the Energy uh, Bath and Body Works, I think. Um, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers are kind of useless, but they smell good. Um, let's see. I'm sure they're not useless, but I never feel like my hands are clean. These are lens wipes. I've got a couple of those in there. I've got this janky baggie of pills <laughs> from like 1910 um, with ibuprofen and sleep aid. Let's see. There is a... Spot and stain remover, band-aid, these types of flosser picks, a tied to go pen as well in case the other one doesn't work, just in case. Like I said, that's my motto, just in case. Um, a 128 gig whoop, jump drive uh, with my portfolio, my resume, samples of my work. Um, just in case it's gonna be the phrase of the day just in case well you never know you know somebody might want to send you a file or whatever they're like oh do you have your resume yes I do and don't you look great when you have your resume with you at all times just saying. wouldn't leave home without this this is my Apple iPad mini 
um, it is the gold? Silver. It's the silver, white, I don't know, it's silver, um, with the white, and it is, doesn't tell me how big it is, um, I'd have to turn it on, but I will leave information below if you're interested, and I got this little case on Amazon, it just, it looks like, um, the same kind of cover that Apple has on there for theirs, but it was a lot cheaper on Amazon, and I like to kind of fold it into the triangle here, if I want to watch a movie, you know, you can set it like that. Um, a lot of the time I will use it as like a, I'll hold it like this, like, you know, so I can hold it one handed and do stuff. So that is my um, iPad. Let's see, oh, we've only got a few things left. Mm. The wallet I'm using right now, is she starting to slouch? See, oh, I love this bag. Okay, uh, this is my I want to say it's a Sarah, but I'm not 100% sure, so I will link it. It's the Etoile, Etoile, I don't know how you say it, um, Etoile wallet in the monogram canvas. And as you can see, it is gorgeous and quilted. It's got this like pleated canvas. It's plush and just buttery and soft. And it is my, my, uh, was my holy grail wallet. I finally found it pre-loved on uh, Yuji's, Yugi's closet uh, and I got it as a graduation gift and I really love it. Um, it's got <clears throat> this beautiful brass clasp hardware here with some vachetta underneath and it's that old Louis Vuitton script um, font which I think is so elegant and beautiful. And then you just kind of turn this here and open up to four slots in the front. It is made in France. And then there are six more credit card slots, two large slots here, a spot for coins, and a spot for extra bills or extra cards. Um, so I keep my four more most used you know, cards here, like my license and, and uh, debit cards and whatnot. And then in the front, pocket after that I just keep um, whatever you know cash I have on me which is usually not much um, some coins I think I only have a quarter or two and then I keep some of my other most used cards here and then um, quick loyalty cards in the back with more business cards and let's see what else is in there no there's nothing else there's just business cards um, oh I've got my little uh, my little stickers, my mountain pine design for my Etsy shop. I keep a couple of those in there. Um, so my cards, I'm not going to show you them, obviously. I'm not trying to get uh, identity thefted, <laughs> whatever. Um, but I have, you know, library cards. There's a few, like insurance cards, a Whole Foods gift card from one of my, me my mentor, um, and some loyalty, just loyalty cards and things like that. So... Um, this is just my most beautiful SLG in my opinion. So that's my Sarah Etoll wallet I think in monogram. Um, next is my sunglass case MM in the monogram canvas and inside I have my Ray-Ban sunglasses. These are my favorite sunglasses of all time. I'm a total Ray-Ban girl. Uh, I also have the uh, Aviators, the same exact style in um, the gold, like the gold rim and the dark rim or the dark lens. Uh, but these are my favorite. I just love them. They're so cute. Um, I wish that the lens were a little bigger. Like I kind of would like it to, to come down my face a little bit more, but maybe someday they will come out with that or I'll get a pair. Um, I really like the uh, Porsche sunglasses that are like that, but so these are my sunnies. And along that same line, I, I have my Ray-Ban eyeglasses. Those were the aviators, um, by the way. And these are my eyeglasses. And I wear these when I'm working uh, on the computer or working with um, my decals or doing my vinyl stuff. Um, because they are preventative, they're to help me keep my great vision. I don't need to wear glasses every day, I'm very fortunate in that uh, regard, but my um, 
ophthalmologist recommended that I wear these uh, because I spend a lot of time on the computer. So I always have those with me. And mm, we're getting to the bottom here. This little pouch is super cute. It's leather with a black trim. Got it at Target on clearance for $3.99. And it's just got an envelope opening and I keep my um, Apple earbuds in there and the little adapter that helps me plug in other things to my stupid iPhone <laughs> that doesn't have a normal adapter. So that is what I keep in there. And the very last thing in my bag, let's see, is it empty? Oh no, we've got one more thing. Um, a little lip gloss, that's what I'm wearing right now. The I'm wearing MAC lip liner. I don't know the shade, but I'll link it. And then I have this over it. It's the Tart Tartist Pro, or Tartist Lip Paint in birthday suit. So it was a little birthday gift or something. Um, and that is it. I don't have anything in here right now but it is all empty. She is empty, empty. I'm gonna put this back in there. Um, so the final thing that was in there is my cosmetic pouch, GM. And I have a love-hate relationship with this item because of this. Do you see this? If you're considering getting this, if you're considering a pouch, a cosmetic pouch. Think about what you want to carry in it every day and I urge you to watch a lot of reviews and if you want me to do a full review on this I will um, because I have some strong opinions about it um, but really consider you know what you're gonna be carrying with you every day and how and whether this would be a better silhouette or the square uh, toiletry case um, so, what is in here? My bag is collapsing. <laughs> it's like I'm melting. Okay, what I keep in here, um, it is stuffed to the brim. And I have my Chanel Rouge Coco Balm, which I keep in the little slot here. Um, in this pocket next to it, I keep a VIB Rouge mirror. It's just a double-sided, um, one is magnified and one is not. So I keep that in that side. And then on the opposite pocket is the Pochette cosmetic tag, textile tag there. And inside is that Bare Minerals Compact in Light Natural that I was showing you earlier. Uh, the Kat Von D lip, uh, lipstick here. And it's called the Painted Love Lipstick. Can't find the shade. I don't know what shade this is, but... I need like magnifying glass. Lovecraft. It's like so impossible to see. Do you see that? But this is the color. I really like uh, nude pinks. That's my that's my jam. So that's a really great lip lipstick. Um, I have a Mount Kineo Hotel lotion. My mom gave me this uh, when I went up to see her uh, in Maine. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Um, that's where I'm from. And my mom got me this little lotion while I was up there and I, it smells fantastic. Um, I've got a Real Techniques retractable kabuki brush. This brush is awesome. It's super soft and I like to always have a brush with me um, in my cosmetic pouch to apply this. Uh, powder with or just to kind of touch up any smudges or whatever There's mostly lip products. This is my favorite lipstick. I've ever had and I was a makeup artist for many years and uh, Lipsticks have always been very drying 
um, and I was always on the hunt for the perfect lipstick and my mom actually turned me uh, on to this one. It is by Avon. No, I'm not a rep. I'm not uh, selling them or anything like that. I just went onto the website and bought it. This is called Mad for Mauve and it's just the creamiest formula I've ever experienced. It feels like butter on your lips. Um, and I've no I noticed that when I use it, it I, my lips feel more moisturized afterwards. So I bought two of them. I've got the Mad for Mauve, which is what I showed you, that pinky nude. Um, and then Power Trip, which is a cool red. Um, so I keep both of them in there. And it's the Beyond Color Lipstick SPF 15 is what it says. So I've got those. I have a MAC Lipstick in Velvet Teddy. Mauvey Pink. Are we sensing a theme? I told you. I have a... Good grief. I don't think I can say this. Le Couvent de Minime. Le Couvent de Minima. I have no idea. I'm just embarrassing myself. It's a tiny little hand cream sample um, that I got from Sephora, lavender and acacia. And it smells really good and it's almost out, which is why I got the new one when I was visiting my mom. And then the Buxom Lip Gloss in Lavender Cosmo. Uh, that is the full on lip cream. So this is a really I really love um, Bare Minerals lip glosses. The Buxom, um, that plumping, I just, I like that. So I have that. I always keep my Sephora um, collection tweezers with me. These are the best tweezers I've ever had. Uh, one end is the, you know, that like uh, angled and then the other end is the sharp kind of point. Um, and they're by far the best ones I've ever had. No complaints about them whatsoever. I would never get another pair. Um, this is my kitty file. I don't know where I got it. It's a Hello Kitty file, um, I think. Um, and I just keep that in there because you never know. Just in case. Let me see, how many lip liners? I've got two lip liners. So this one I've run down to the bone. It is almost completely a nub at this point. Um, it is the NYX Pale 854 Pale Pink Lip Liner, which I really love. And then this is a Sephora Collection Rouge Gel Lip Liner in 01 The Nudist. And it's just a, just a nude um, retractable lip liner. We're getting down to the end. Um, another Kat Von D. I think this is like the everlasting lipstick or lip paint or something like that. Um, in, oh my, okay, yeah, everlasting liquid lipstick in Lolita. I really love this color when I have my red hair. Um, I change my hair a lot. <laughs> so next time you see me, it might be a different color. You, know, you never know. Uh, this is so worn out that it's, I don't know what it is anymore. Sassy Sorbet. It might have been a Bare Minerals lip, liquid lipstick or something like that, but um, it's got the doe foot. It's a pink, it's a pink lip gloss or liquid lipstick or something like that. I think it's a lip gloss. Uh, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick, naked liquid lipstick. Naked might be the color, I'm not sure. Um, but this is more of a pale nude um, on the peachy side. So comparing, you know, these two, this is the Anastasia. Definitely more pale than pink. And then at the bottom, I've got a couple of perfume samples. I have two of the Nest Citrine Eau de Parfum roller balls. I think they were like Sephora... Um, samples and I keep those in there because they smell really great and then I have the Chloe um, Eau de Parfum 
it's just the little a little sample from Sephora and it smells really great. I like floral, like fresh floral fragrances. Um, this is a MAC concealer. It's the Studio Finish Concealer SPF 35 in NC30. It's just a little pod. So I like to keep that with me um, along with my Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer uh, in medium beige. So it's just like a cute little travel size. Um, I have a blush with me. This is a NARS um, in Goulet, Goulou. It's a nice, kind of a shimmery um, pink. I have a MAC Travel Mascara. This is MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. I really like full brushes, so that one is really nice. I like this formulation quite a lot. And then we have a hair clip, just a little hair clip, an eyebrow razor, and a bobby pin. And that's it. This is the bottom of my cosmetic pouch. So that is it. That is what is in my new Neverfull MM or GM in the Damier Bin canvas. I hope you enjoyed this video and loved looking in my bag and seeing what I have with me every day or at least this weekend. Um, so please, again, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos from me. Um, it really does mean a lot and it lets me know that you guys like what I'm putting up. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. And uh, until next time, guys, I will see you later. Bye.